What do you get when an extremely talented content creator on YouTube with two successful channels and hundreds of videos does a first impression on a product and doesn't hit the audio button? No content. So I have to re-record this same video again and it's no longer first impressions because I now see the effing product. Yeah. This is the type of shit that I go through. But Jackson was gracious enough to send me their brand new Cuban link for me to inspect and give my certification or denial. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto my second impression of the Jackson Cuban link. I'm kind of a big deal. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 3 The first impression was so good, but it's already no longer a first impression. Now it's a second impression. Not only a second impression, I've actually been able to wear the item so I can give a little bit more in depth. So I guess a pro to the con is that. Jumping right into it, because I don't want to make this shit super long and stupid. Standard Jackson packaging, the box, we know how it comes in, we know the certification, it's authentically plated, we all know what the deal is, right? Here is the new Italian Cuban link from Jackson with a very interesting lobster clasp. Now I'm gonna put some close-up pictures so you guys can take a look at this very nice yet unusual Cuban link. The funny part is that some of y'all might look at this huge lobster clasp and think it looks ridiculous, but actually this is actually a very traditional Italian style lobster clasp. So I used to see this on the old school street guys bracelets. They used to have hybrid bracelets like a mix of a Mariner and a Figaro link or some beautiful Italian link that had these oversized lobster clasps. Now, the thing about this oversized lobster clasp that I don't dislike is that with this link being about a nine and a half millimeter in width, it keeps the thick synergy all across. So it's not like you're having a small lobster clasp with two tiny jump rings and then you're jumping into a big millimeter bracelet. You actually have a big chunky lobster clasp kind of matching almost the same millimeter length across. The lobster clasp on this one looks a little bit larger as the bracelet is about a 9.5 millimeter and the lobster clasp is about a 10-12. So it's about half a millimeter thicker in lobster clasp, which I guess manufacturing wise, it'd be smart if they do go a higher gauge bracelet. So if they have a variety of gauges, let's say ranging from nine to 12, they can kind of stick with the same big oversized Italian lobster clasp and use it on different various chains or bracelets. Italians do shit well, there's no doubt about it. They do women well, they do cars well, and they absolutely do jewelry well. This machine made Miami Cuban or Cuban link as it were, is actually quite nice. It's super clean. Jackson is in my top three of affordable Cuban links and probably the most affordable plated Cuban link out there that doesn't compromise on quality in my opinion. The link is nice and tight. It has a beautiful shine to it. It doesn't have a discrepancy or ugly solder lines or anything like that. The fresh out of the box shine is lit. But I know people are gonna have mixed reviews about this. We all know I'm King Box Lock. I love a fucking box lock. But if an Italian brand or manufacturer is gonna make a box lock that doesn't last, do I really want that box lock? I know. The answer for me is no. Like these definitely have more durability than a shitty box lock once they start losing tension. Once they start losing that tension, it's a wrap. That's it, you're donezo. You're gonna start pulling up the lever and then you're gonna start forcing it in to another four times that you wear it and then it's gonna turn to shit. I'm not super upset about this. It has its pros and its cons. I like the fact that it's a large size because it keeps a nice synergy going throughout. It is a huge lobster claw at the end of the day. And so that has its meh. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all, actually. I'm quite impressed with the link. I don't know if they got a new manufacturer or if they're testing out new links, but this is even 
better than the original one, personally. They're going in a really good direction. When it comes to affordable Cuban links, whether it be the sterling silver kind only or the plated kind, they're absolutely going in the right direction. They have been looking into box locks, but finding a good box lock isn't as easy as you may think. I'll put this shit on wrist so y'all can see the wrist profile. This is one of the ones that you gotta do this kind of shit to put it on. Such a big fucking lock. Wrist profile! This one's a seven and a half inch, wears beautifully. It has a great weight to it. Let's take the weight of this shit, cause I didn't do that last time, and I think it'd be good to do it now just to get an idea. So here's an up close look at the link, just so you can see the details that I'm talking about. I mean, it's a beautiful link. Don't get me wrong, here's the, here's the lobster class so you can get an idea. And I wanted to weigh this shit out because again, it has like a really good weight to it and it's just quite impressive. So I'm gonna just pull out my little digital scale here. Bang, bang, bang. And then we're gonna look at the weight together. <laughs> I just, my wife likes to make cookies. I don't know what this white powder is. Honey, stop using my bit, my scale to make cookies. She's so silly. It's just cookies. Damn, it's just a lot. <sighs> Cookies, cookies, so here, scale's at zip. well, it was at zero, but I'm just moving it around. Scale's at zero, <laughs> sorry. Scale's at zero, and let's see how much this puppy weighs, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. 41.9 grams, I don't know if you guys can see that. 41 point, well, well it's less than that. So it's 41.9 grams. I mean, again, beautiful weight, beautiful quality, amazing shine. It just has a glorious fucking shine on it that just, whew, fresh out of the box. Again, some people will be thrown out by the lobster class, but who cares? Yeah, put it on wrist real quick. Ah. Beautiful. So that's pretty much it, man. Shout out to Jackson for sending me this shit and giving me the opportunity to check it out firsthand and present it to y'all and see if this is something that y'all might be interested in. What do you guys think? Is the lobster claw a little bit too funny? Just let me know. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is pickets in the game? Smooches.